Hey everyone, welcome back. So I've literally just woken up. It is 7, 12 a.m. I have to go to uni after this, so I thought why not do this video for you guys. Today I'm going to be filming a review and first impression on the new EX1 concealers that recently came out. They're called the Delete Fluid Concealers. I have two shades here. I've got shade 13 and shade 8. Um, which was kindly sent to me by them. You guys know that I really love the Invisiware foundation. I use the shade 11 um, So yeah, I'm going to be trying them to today with the concealer um, Under my eyes it says it's full coverage and I swatched it on my hand and it's like super thick and like I'm just excited to try this. I need coverage because honestly, I'm so tired with all this uni work I'm so tired. I feel like I haven't even got any sleep I'm like a walking zombie I also did ask you guys on Instagram story if you want to see a review of this concealer in like an actual like separate review video if you want me to just use it in a makeup tutorial and most of you chose an actual video I'm just gonna move my hair out the way so I'm on the look fantastic website it's £10.50 which is not bad for a concealer so it says a creamy, highly pigmented formula that expertly camouflages blemishes and imperfections. It also says it provides long-lasting hydration to prevent caking and creasing. Shouldn't crease. Um, ex expect a smooth, even complexion with minimized blemishes and dark circles. Fragrance and oil-free. Okay, so on the EX1 website, they have all 14 shades. So that is a big plus for me. For 14 shades, the only thing is, I don't know if shade number 14 would be dark enough for deeper skin tones but 14 shades is good there's a good nice gradient there's a lot of brown colors which i'm all for um but again also a lot of pale some browns and then you've got your deep deeper ones i feel like they could do with one or two deeper shades but that's just my opinion um but yeah that's a good shade range in my opinion especially for concealer because some colors can fit for like various skin tones i feel like eight will be a good shade for me um compared to like my tart shape tape because it's like a bit lighter and i like to go a bit lighter with my concealer but if not i'll mix a bit of the 13 but um i don't really use concealer as the same shade as my foundation so i don't think i would have gone with um 10 um sorry 11 i probably would have gone with like 10 or 9 actually there's no 9 so yeah, I think I would have gone with 8 or 10, and I think 8 is the perfect shade for me. I'm just popping on some SPO before I put my makeup, and also a bit of primer. I always do these steps. This is what the concealer looks like. It's in this cool, like, matte long packaging. It's very similar to the um, Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. It comes with a little pump, which is super convenient. Okay, so this is shade 8, which I will be using. That's shade 8. So that's shade 8 and that's shade 13. Shade 8 does look like a nice yellow tone colour for me. So I think it will work pretty well. If not, I've always got the darker one. Okay, so I'm first going to start off with the EX1 Invisiwear foundation. I use, again, the shade 11. I've got my um, Morphe sponge that I got from Beauty Bay. This is the one that Jacqueline Hill wears a lot. Wears, uses a lot in her videos. No secrets, I know all the shortcuts. Now I'm lost looking for your touch. Used to be your night shift. Okay, so I've just done my foundation, and as you can tell, it looks pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna put the concealer straight on. Definitely a thick concealer. Wind and in my hair, like it knew you were there. Boys like you never play fair. I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend that out. You behind. How could you think we could just be friends again? I'm on a midnight bike ride, then shoulders to AM. Left you behind. Now that you know things can never be the same. Okay, so I did mix a bit 
13 in because I think it's a little bit too dark for my under eyes like I need con like an actual con concealer shade closer to my skin tone before I start highlighting onto my eyes and this one was a bit too light but I'm pretty impressed with the coverage like really impressed I'm on a midnight back ride It's all just 2am Left you behind How could you think we could just be friends again? I'm on a midnight back ride It's all just 2am Left you behind Okay, so, so far the concealer is super full coverage It covers When I mixed 13 in, it did make the colour a bit more like pinkier Um like I do prefer it to be a bit more yellow it blended really easily it covered like the darkness on my lids like so quickly um, I'm just worried it's a bit ashy right now but I think it'll be fine so what I'm going to do is I am going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back I'm back and I am loving the concealer I'm just loving this all overall like look the only thing is my face I don't know my face looks darker now just kind of bonding my neck I am wearing I'm super pale on my chest uh, guys can you just see my face and my under eyes how flawless it looks and it doesn't look cakey it doesn't feel heavy it's not creasing it just looks so smooth like so smooth it literally looks like I've got barely got anything on there um, I've only got good things to say so far about the concealer it's worked so well and at first it was looking a little bit ashy because it was a bit too light but after adding the 13 it then went a bit like pinky but it was still light but then it kind of adapted to my skin tone so I'd say it does oxidize a tad bit because it really works like it's like my skin tone like it's suitable for my skin tone colour. Foundation's really good, like it makes my skin look super nice but super natural at the same time. Um, I would say it's medium coverage. Um, I've done a review on this foundation before, like it covers really well. The only thing is that lately um, I don't find that it covers my mouth area as much as I want it to on its own, like most of my other foundations that I've been liking. But overall this look is super nice. Do I see myself using the concealer based on what I can see now? Yes. I probably will get my hands on 11 but I want to see how this is going to like settle throughout the day. So I'm going to head off to uni. I'm going to wear this on for a few hours and I'll be right back to let you guys know and show you guys what this concealer looks like because I'm curious to know. Here's just a quick close up for you guys so you can see what the concealer looks like but this is like what it usually looks like with my Tarte Shape Tape. It's definitely not f as full coverage compared to my Tarte Shape Tape, definitely not but it's up there like it's good coverage and it's super thick but it doesn't go cakey at all, it actually smooths out the skin I find. But, and it is 8.05 by the way so I'll be back later on. Hey guys I am back, it is, I'm in my PJs by the way if you guys are, I'm, I just need to take a nap, this is why I'm doing this. I'm finishing off the video a bit early but it's around 4.30 so I've been wearing it for around 8 hours now so it's not bad of a wear test for this concealer I think in my opinion because normally most times I wear like between 8 to 12 hours it depends on the day but yeah my normal wear time for my foundation well my makeup in general is 8 to 12 hours but yeah, I'm so tired. I can't even, guys. I'm so tired. I've literally had two hours of sleep. This concealer is honestly so good. I can't even say it enough. Just from applying it, from applying it, it did go a bit weird. Like it was a bit ashy. That could be due to the shade. But nevertheless, it did blend very well. Didn't crease instantly. It acted well with the powder. It's worn so well throughout the eight hours. Um, it's full coverage, but not heavy, not cakey. It actually gives this more smoothing effect to your under eyes, which I really like. It just makes it look super flawless. Um, and it's still on, like, my under eyes look really good. The only thing I have to say, which I am quite surprised about, actually, um, as I was saying before I got interrupted by that bloody, don't even know what it's called, but the thing that dries your clothes. The thing I'm really surprised about though is my foundation has faded so bad and I have worn my um, um, primer, I have set it 
and it's just faded all over my cheeks on my nose and around my mouth so I'm quite I don't know I don't my I don't remember the foundation working like this and even though it, may, it makes my skin look really good is it hasn't really lasted very well like all here is gone it's all here my nose is gone and around my mouth is gone maybe I should set in more powder I don't know but my skin did look really good earlier on though like it does make your skin look good but I would say maybe use more like long wearing primers to help this foundation last longer on the skin and use more powder to set in place but I don't think I set them on my cheeks to be honest but even if I don't set it shouldn't come off like this but anyways I just have a different opinion on the foundation I guess but it did make my skin look good in the beginning as you guys could see but it has faded but still it looked overall okay a bit, a bit disappointing by the way um, but the concealer oh my god guys it's good it's really good if you can find your colour then definitely try it out um, you can get them in boots now so hopefully you can um, swatch them in stores um, before you buy it I think that's all I have to say guys it's a good one definitely up there with my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm definitely going to be getting the shade 11 to see how that works with my skin and I will keep you updated in my um, future tutorials and you'll see if, how that works on my skin. I can't even get over it. It just hasn't even creased. So the lines you see under my eyes are just the lines that are usually there. When it creases you can see literally the product built in those lines but with this one it's just stayed intact. I think that's all I have to say. I'm super pleased with the concealer. Really glad that I got to try it. I, I really hope these reviews help you and a lot of you say that they do and that really makes me happy and makes me want to do these videos even more. So I'm going to try and get, I feel like you guys really like it when I review drugstore stuff rather than high end, which is totally understandable. I'm all up for a bargain. Also being a student, you know, I always, I always tell you guys that student life. I'm going to try and get more drugstore stuff to review. If there's anything in particular, let me know. Um, I was thinking the Bourjois Foundation because um, I haven't done a review on that and they have new shades I believe um, but let me know in the comments please give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful and entertaining I guess like I don't know oh and I've always said the concealer definitely lives up to the claims that they had on the website like it's so good I'm so happy with these and the packaging is so convenient as well I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 I love it so much it's affordable there's a good shade range for drugstore concealer um, even better than a high-end big brand that's out there they've done better than them and it works so well it made my under eyes look flawless and stayed like that for eight hours straight so that's all i have to say i'm gonna stop rambling i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.